hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is fred okay real quick we are going to look at an example these exam examples were sent to me by Ghanaian students okay so he sent me these two questions all right these are orthographic um, questions conversion from orthographic to isometric all right so now you've been given these three views, the front elevation, end elevation, and plan, okay? Now you're expected to draw the isometric view of this block, same as this, okay? So this video is going to be in two parts. This is the part one. Now we're going to treat this very question in the part two of the video. So, but for now, we'll focus on this one, okay? All right, now let me uh, make something very clear here. Now, if you haven't seen my video, there is a video I... Um, I already did on that I uploaded on orthographic introduction to orthographic okay conversion from orthographic into isometric I will uh, strongly advise you go see that video because it will help you uh, understand this better all right okay now quickly now these are three views the three views here now this is the end elevation there's a front elevation and this is the plan all right now, this is in first angle projection. You know, in first angle pro projection, you have the uh, front elevation on top, you have the plan at the bottom, and you have the end elevation either on the left hand side or that is at the top left or at the top right. Now, look at this other example. You can see that the front elevation is at the top here, the plan is here, and you have the end elevation at the top right. Now, I will tell you the reason why uh, sometimes you could have it on the top right or on the top left, like in this one. Okay? Now, listen, if you are given um, a diagram to draw, for example, if you have this, this is a box. If you are required to draw in first angle, now we are using first angle now, you could actually uh, also draw in third angle. Now, it, there are two possible um, positions where you could have this arrow here, okay? Now, let us, this is uh, case study number one, all right? Now, when you have the arrow on your uh, southwest, Okay, so this arrow now is on the southwest of, the, of this block, all right? Now, whenever you have the arrow on this side, or you could just say on the left-hand side here, now when you're drawing in first angle, this is where you have your front elevation, this is where you have your plan, and this is where you have your end elevation, that is top left, not on this side, all right? This is where you should have it. Then you have your 45 degrees line here. Now, if you have the arrow, this case study two, if you have the arrow on this end, all right, on the um, south east now that is on the right hand side of my drawing here now this is where you should have your front elevation on the top the plan at the bottom and the end elevation on the top right okay now if you tend to draw when you have your arrow here using this format okay now the plan will not connect with this end elevation now the plan can only connect with the end elevation when you draw it on the top left so i just thought you should know that all right so let's continue All right, now take note of um, the front elevation, the plan, and the end elevation. Now, uh, using the box method, all right, to draw the um, isometric view of these uh, three views, okay? The isometric projection of these three views. Now, you have to draw a box, okay? Now, the box will contain this drawing. Do you understand? Now, how do you draw the box? How do you know the dimensions, okay? Now, you take the total height of the drawing, the total uh, length to the right, you know, for example, this is how you draw, you project in isometric. You have a receding line sloping to the right, a receding line sloping to the left, and a vertical line, all right? Now, you look for the total height of this drawing, the total height, the total length to the right, and the uh, total length to our uh, dimension now to the left. Now, what, what is the total height? Now, you can obtain the total height from either the front elevation or end elevation. Now, from here, we have 15, 15, 15, 15. So, this is 30. This is 30. Now, this space here is 40. So, 40 plus 30, that's 70. Then, plus another um, 30, that's 100. So, this vertical line here will be 100, all right? Now, let's, what's the length to this right, to the right hand, okay, side of this drawing? That is the receding line to the right. Now, you can obtain it from either the plan or even the front elevation as well. Now, remember at this point P. Now, in the question you sent, Ebenezer, I think Ebenezer is the guy's name. 
this p was here but i have moved it because it's actually a mistake for you to uh indicate uh by putting p here all right it's, it should be here because from the plan we could see that the p is at this point here okay all right then it should be here not here all right so now it means this is the lowest point all right this is the lowest point of the drawing as indicated now i forgot to read the question the figure below shows three views of a block in first angle orthographic projection draw full size the isometric projection of the block making point p as the lowest okay so this part of the drawing would be the lowest all right now i've actually done this in um in uh, using autocad i also explained using autocad okay to buttress my point now so now if this is the lowest point all right now you have this sloping to the right and you have this sloping to the left now what i mean by right and left is this right to the left so the length to the right is 60 plus 15 that's 75 so this length will be 75 while this other side is that is 100 so this one will be 100 so this is 100 175 now you use that information to project a box an isometric box that will contain the object i hope you can see this clearly now remember it has to be thin lines the box has to be thin lines so this length you see here is 75 this is um 100 and this is 100 so all the vertical lines you see this this and these they are 100 this this and this one 75 while um uh these these and these they are 100 okay so let's continue okay now like i said in the previous videos now you could use the box method okay to obtain a 3d shape of an orthographic drawing so what do you do now remember if this is our front elevation okay definitely this is it this is where the arrow is pointing do you understand this is where the arrow is pointing let's say x all right so you draw this front elevation on this face all right this is what our end elevation so you draw this end elevation on this face all right then you draw this plan at the top here okay so i will do that real quick okay so i've done that real quick um so you can see this is the lowest point p as you can see from here so this can you look at the front sorry the end elevation drawn here all right and you can you can see p here that's the lowest point now from the front elevation on this part you could see p here right that's it p so that's the lowest point so now we have the front elevation or every detail transferred into the um, front um, elevation or the front view of this box then we have the plan as you can see the plan transferred here all right then we have the end elevation transferred here now these are actually supposed to be thin lines okay but i have to use um i have to use thick lines for clarity purpose because um i'm using a camera you might not be able to see it clearly all right so let's move on to the next thing okay now so the first thing we we'll do is to get rid of these hidden details okay now of course you know hidden details are not shown in isometric and when you see broken lines like this they represent hidden details so you see this broken line it's representing this bottom here okay you can't see it because part of the object is what is obstructing let me see i'll be able to show you this in uh, in autocad now this is actually the object i've already done it um in 3d okay so um this is it so now i'm talking about the hidden detail that you saw here okay this one all right these two lines okay it's actually the bottom so we have view from the top you won't see it but there is what um there is a, a passage like um there's an opening here actually okay so that's what it's uh, indicative of this uh hidden uh detail so the hidden details is uh indicating that there is a there is a kind of obstruction at the bottom there like an opening okay so i'm going to show you here all right um just a minute so now look at this object let me try to okay so you see it is what i'm talking about okay so from the plan okay so let's assume this is the plan approximately so it is somewhere here broken lines on both sides okay all right so that's it so that's the reason why you're seeing it in that form all right so what we'll do is that we'll get rid of it all right now also check this rectangle here all right now from the plan 
let me take it back okay i think this is approximately the plan aha uh -huh. so i'm talking about um this plan now right this plan so this part here now this hidden detail you already know it is existing there all right so you see this rectangle it looks like it's at the top right it, it's um at the same level as this one here but no it's actually what from this elevation i know it is somewhere here okay not at the top here but down here all right so if you view you see so we're going to remove it from here and push it down to this level all right so we're going to get rid of this rectangle first of all get rid of this hidden detail then this rectangle will move it down to this point okay we'll draw it there all right all right so get rid of this broken lines okay now we move this part because from like i said before all right it's not at the top here it's down here that is this point here not here but here so we'll move it by transferring lines let me do that real quick okay so you have um okay what am i doing now okay sorry transfer to this point here all right and transfer this make sure you properly you apply the set squares very well transfer this and of course you can connect here this part okay so now this rectangle you're seeing at the top we have moved it down here so we'll erase it we don't need it at the top we've already settled that part all right so we have it there move down from the top down there all right so um, now the same thing will happen at the bottom okay um sorry there is a detail i didn't add to this drawing let me quickly do that okay okay actually this this detail is not there okay so we'll just uh, figure that now so we're talking about this part this rectangle you're seeing here can you see that let me all right this rectangle okay it can be here from this we know that this rectangle is not at same level as um what you see okay i'm, I'm talking about this surface here okay this face it's not at same level so it's not actually here but here at this point here so you move it backward so if we move this rectangle backward to this point so we have it somewhere there like this do you understand but you can't see it because this is not what a transparent object so it's there all right but you can only see a part of it which is what you are seeing now okay you can only see a part of it so we have already moved it that is we've transferred this one there all right so get rid of this part okay so we are making progress so we've moved it here we we'll move this line here the same thing we did to the top <laughs> okay now next is um now you see this here all right from the plan we know it's not actually at same plane with this one you see here this it's not a same plane from the plan we know it is here so it's not here so we'll move it down to this point that is we move the whole of this down to this point so what that means is that this line is shouldn't be here do you understand so we have already moved it here now okay we moved it here so this whole rectangle will move it inside so but you know if i draw this rectangle like this something like this okay i'm talking about this rectangle moved to this point you're not going to see part of it so we're only going to review the parts that we are supposed to see 
all right so and that is move this one here now I'll draw a thin line first okay and let me move the vertical line sorry supposed to move this So the vertical line cannot come in. Okay. So that's it. All right. So we've moved these parts to this point here. Okay, but you can't see the complete uh, other side because this object is obstructing it. So the same thing will happen to the to this side so you move this down here but you can't once again you can't see it so you just leave it that way but this part you know um this part is exact is the exact same way as this other side i don't know if you know uh, what i'm talking about all right so what you do is you draw this transfer this line okay here i hope you can see that and draw so, once again, there is a rectangle, just like you have this rectangle here. You have it on the other side. So, you move it in. Alright? So, it's already there, but you can't see it. So, you don't need to draw it. But this part, okay? And this part, okay? Um, they look alike. Like, if, you if I should rotate this object now. You understand? So, this part you're seeing here. It's exact same line I've drawn here. I'm talking about this line now, right? So with this, now you can see the object is out. All right, so you have to draw visible outlines. All right, so make the object visible. Okay. So make this one thin. All right, so that's it. So this is the object. Make it visible. So the next thing you do is to dimension. Now I want to believe you know how to dimension, so you can just apply the dimensions, transfer the dimensions here. All right. So this is it in isometric. So, so these are objects. Okay. Let me try on. Um, so you can see. This is the other part I was telling you about. Okay. So you can see. So front elevation. I mean, okay, it's looking like what you see here. Okay, front elevation. Can you see it? All right. Then end elevation. Um, approximately like this. Although there are settings, there is a way I can just um reveal the end elevation but I, I wouldn't want to do that because i need you to understand why it is the way it is by virtue of rotating it sorry i'm having issues with some um, my mouse here okay approximately something like this all right but i hope you understand i may not be able to get it perfectly well because my mouse uh the surface so we have it something like this in the elevation okay then the plan real quick now plan this is a plan I've shown you once uh, approximately like this okay something like this though um, once again you can see now remember there is a hidden detail here right so that's it Alright, um, please do not forget to like this video and uh, subscribe. Also recommend this channel to anyone you know might need these um, lessons. Have a nice day.